What if I told you that Hindu temples are not just places of worship, but living blueprints of the cosmos, laboratories of science, and architectural marvels that even modern engineers struggle to explain? Today, we uncover the hidden scientific secrets of ancient Hindu architecture. Every great Hindu temple begins with a vision, not of stone, but of the cosmos itself. At the heart of this vision lies the mandala. To the untrained eye, it may look like a simple geometric pattern, but in reality, it is a cosmic diagram. The mandala dictates every line, every angle, and every proportion of the temple. It encodes celestial rhythms, the cycles of the sun, the moon, and the stars. The sanctum sanctorum, where the deity resides, is always placed at the center of this cosmic grid, symbolizing the heart of the universe. Then comes Vastu Shastra, not mere superstition, but a complete science of spatial harmony. Ancient architects used it to plan entire cities, ensuring energy flow, ventilation, and alignment with natural forces. Imagine a system where architecture itself breathes with the rhythms of nature. But the brilliance of Hindu architecture doesn't stop at philosophy. It extends into raw engineering. Take the Kailasa Temple in Ellora. Carved from a single rock, it's an inverted mountain. Modern tools would struggle to replicate it. Yet ancient builders achieved this using interlocking stones and gravity-defying corbelling techniques, requiring no mortar at all. Or the Brihadiswara Temple in Thanjavur. Its massive granite blocks were hauled and assembled with such precision that no cranes or modern machines could have managed the feat. Even the towering 80-ton capstone atop the Vimana still leaves engineers scratching their heads. What's even more astonishing is the seismic resilience of these structures. Thousands of years before modern earthquake engineering, Hindu architects had already discovered methods to distribute weight and absorb shocks. These temples were not just built to last, they were built to defy time itself. But here's where science meets spirituality most directly. Astronomy woven into architecture. At Konark Sun Temple, the entire structure is a giant celestial clock. The wheels of the chariot not only represent time, they measure it, functioning as sundials that accurately track hours of the day. Many temples are aligned so precisely that twice a year, on solstices or equinoxes, a beam of sunlight falls directly on the deity's forehead a cosmic reminder of unity between earth and sky. Inside temples, sound and light were manipulated for profound purposes. Whisper in one corner of a mandapa, and it can be heard clearly on the other side. Bells were tuned to resonate at healing frequencies. These were not coincidences. They were conscious scientific designs rooted in a deep understanding of acoustics and energy. But perhaps the most astonishing secret lies in the mathematics of divinity. Ratios like the Golden Ratio and sequences like the Fibonacci Spiral are not just modern discoveries. They are embedded in temple layouts, tower designs, and even in the curves of carvings. Fractal geometry, repeating patterns within patterns, can be seen in temple spires that mirror the very structure of galaxies. Priests and architects employ trigonometry and calculus long before they were formally invented, calculating angles, heights, and dimensions with astonishing accuracy. Even the placement of the deity was never arbitrary. It was the result of precise algorithms, ensuring that energy resonance peaked exactly where devotees stood to pray. So what does all this mean for us today? It means ancient Hindu architecture was never primitive. It was scientific, sustainable, and deeply spiritual. These temples have survived floods, quakes, invasions, and centuries of time, yet they stand tall, breathing with energy. Modern architects are now studying these techniques, from passive cooling systems, to eco-friendly urban layouts, to earthquake-proof designs, hoping to rediscover what was never truly lost. And perhaps the biggest lesson is this, science and spirituality were never separate for our ancestors. For them, building a temple was building a universe, where mathematics met meditation and engineering touched eternity. So the next time you step into a Hindu temple, remember, you are walking into a living equation of the cosmos, crafted with wisdom that continues to inspire even today. If you found these secrets fascinating, share this story with someone who thinks ancient civilizations were primitive, and let us continue exploring the untold brilliance of Sanatan Dharma together.